G'day there. Well, today I got a brand new tablet from Panasonic. And no, it's not a tough book. It's actually one of the new Panasonic Tough Pads. This is the Panasonic G1. Now, the Tough Pad G1 is a very rugged tablet. It's designed for being used outdoors like this in the field. It's IP65 rated, which means that it can get very wet and very dusty, and it's fully sealed. It's got a mil 810G rating for a four foot drop test, and that means that it's very, very tough. And you can see, just by looking at it, these rubber bumpers on the corners and the general design of the tablet, that it is designed to be used out in places like this. It's a really tough tablet. Despite it being so tough, it's amazingly thin and light for a rugged tablet. It's uh, only 1.1 kilos, which is just a bit over two pounds. But what's really interesting about the G1 is that it's actually the first ruggedized tablet to come out with this little sticker on it. It's a Windows 8 Pro sticker. So this actually ships with Windows 8 Pro installed on it from the factory. So it's actually the first rugged Windows 8 tablet to hit the market. Now typically we haven't been particularly impressed with Panasonic's effort at the Toughbook range of tablets, the H1 and H2 in particular. We felt were pretty lackluster for a few reasons. The first one being screen viewing angle. So I'm really happy to say that Panasonic have resolved that problem for the G1 Toughpad. They've put an IPS display on it, which means that you can read it quite comfortably from any viewing angle. And that's a must have for a tablet, so Panasonic have got that right. If I call up something that's a bit more contrasting here, you'll be able to see that it is an outdoor readable display, which means that you can read it quite comfortably outside. It's a little bit hard to show that up on the video, but you should get the idea. Another beautiful thing about the display on the G1 is that it's a 1600 by 1200 resolution. So it's a very high resolution display for a little 10 inch tablet. And it's a little bit wider so that it can be used comfortably in the portrait view. Now, the G1 has a little port cover up the top here where you can see, if I can get the sunlight on that, we've got a USB port and also a HDMI port and an audio in and out port there. So uh, we've got a fair bit of expansion there. It is a USB 3 port, that one there, so that's a, a nice feature. Also having the full-size HDMI, if you ever do need to connect to an external display or a projector or something like that, having a full-size HDMI is much better than having one of those micro-size HDMI ports that always fall out all the time. On the top of the device here, we've got a little expansion module. Now on this particular pre-production version, you can see that we've got a USB port in that expansion module. Now, from the factory, you can order this with either a GPS in that module, a USB port, a micro SD reader, or a barcode reader. But those options are all mutually exclusive. So, for instance, you can't have a barcode reader and a GPS. You have to have one or the other. I don't think that's a huge showstopper, but it is something to consider. We've got a webcam here on the front, and we've got a five megapixel camera on the back, which will be fantastic for documentation. And you'll really be able to take advantage of that in Windows 8 in particular. Now the battery here is removable, but it's not hot swappable. So that means you're going to have to shut down the machine or at least put it into standby to change batteries. However, you should expect about a four to five hour battery life from this unit here. Most importantly, tucked away here, we have the Wacom Active Digitizer pen, as well as this being a capacitive touch screen, which again is another great feature that Panasonic have brought along to the G1. It's fingertip multi-capacitive touch. It also has the active digitizer pen, which is proximity sensitive and pressure sensitive. So that's really essential, particularly if you wanted to use a really rich application that's built on the Windows desktop, you can do that here on the G1. Across the front, we've got a series of buttons and there are two programmable buttons here. So there's a little bit of configuration you can do with those in addition to the standard Windows controls, which are volume up and down and the window start button, as well as a screen rotation lock button, which is quite handy. Of course, as you'd expect, a rugged tablet these days has to come with a solid state drive and we can get anything from 64 to 256 gig options configured in the G1. And whilst this is a pre-production, Unit. One of the things that you'll really want to know about this, and you'll see when the production units come out, that there'll be a little sticker on the side here that says it has an Intel Core i5 processor in it. Now that is really essential if you want a rugged tablet that's going to perform for you out on site. I should also mention that we've got up to 8 gigabytes of RAM as standard from the factory. This one here has 4 gigabytes, which is an option, uh, and certainly 64-bit operating systems are fully supported. Intel Atom processors have come a long way, but they still don't cut it when it comes to running programs like ArcGIS or uh, MapInfo on the tablet. And that's what a lot of people will be doing with this type of tablet is they'll be out doing work in the field and they'll want to be running rich 
full featured applications that you can only run on the Windows desktop. That said of course, this being Windows 8, we have access to all of the Metro style applications that you get in Windows 8. So we do have things like a touch friendly web browser here that you can access. The one limitation that I found with this G1 is the fact that the, the bezel on the screen goes right up to the edge and I'll try and put that up close so that you can see that. Now that's a major problem in Windows 8 because when it comes to doing things like swiping out the side menu there, it's very hit and miss. And that's just because there's no space between the glass edge and the edge of the screen. So I would say if you're going to run Windows 8, beware. That said, at this stage, the majority of our corporate customers are still running Windows 7 or only just running Windows 7 and are unlikely to deploy Windows 8 anytime soon. If you can deploy Windows 8, of course, there's some awesome features in there for you. Other features that you'll want to know about, of course, are the docking connector here. There will be a vehicle and desktop dock for this tablet, although it's not out yet. And we also have an antenna pass through for that dock. So a lot of uh, uh, people who work in regional areas who don't have good connectivity will want that antenna pass through as a simple way of getting connectivity to the tablet while it's docked. Having said that, there are some better ways around that these days. We've got things like mobile hotspots that uh, fit into your vehicle that will give you a wireless range of 100 metres around your vehicle so that you don't need to be connected to the vehicle to take advantage of that additional reception that you get from a, a high gain antenna. So in summary, what I can say about the G1 is it is a really awesome tablet. It's a very, very nice design with the only one caveat being that lip around the edge, that bezel. It just restricts your ability to access a lot of those swipe gestures in Windows 8. Apart from that, it really is a beautiful tablet. It's, it's a great design, it feels very tough, it's going to last. So I'd suggest that this tablet would be one to consider for people who work in construction, who work in mining and, and places like uh, local government doing uh, GIS and asset management. Um, this is the kind of tablet that you probably want to have a look at. It's certainly now a contender to the Motion F5 series which has been by far the dominant tablet in this category and Panasonic have finally got a serious com competitor to that product so we expect to be selling a lot of these tablets we'll certainly have a demonstration unit for you to have a look at as well